how long should we fully read the Bible to comprehend it? Well, um, actually, if you want, you want to get the truth of the matter, if you, you, there, there could be a theological answer, there could be an educational answer, but there's, there can be a biblical answer. The biblical answer is it could take a lifetime because reading All the right. Bible don't give you comprehension. Second uh, Timothy 2.15 says, study to show thyself yes. approved unto God a work men need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So rightly dividing the word of truth may take you a lifetime. Now, people have read the Bible and they got yearly a timetable where they read the Bible through a year. That's great. But your question says to completely, fully comprehend it. No man knows the things that are in a man except the spirit of a man. So the spirit of God is the interpreter of the Bible. So to fully comprehend it is going to take the whole body of Christ to assist you, the spirit of God. So I don't, I don't know if there's a time frame on that part. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Webster. Uh, Pastor Mark Galambas, Nate from Michigan, asks, how long should it take us to, to read the Bible to fully comprehend it? Well, I love apostles. Uh, uh, answer on this and thank you for that question you know this is an eternal word that we're talking about it's eternal it's here it's never going to change uh, the gods the same yesterday today and forever I mean, how long is it going to take it's going to take eternity to mm. study and comprehend the word of god we see in john 1 1 it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was oh, yes. with god in the beginning through him all things were Without nothing was made that has been made. We understand that this is an eternal word. We see that in the book of Revelation, don't change one word, not one jot, not one tittle. It is eternal. Our God's eternal. He is the word of God. So when we start to understand and start to comprehend, uh, we just get the very, very beginnings of things. We see the logos were written by men, inspired by the Holy Spirit. We see the logos and then we see the rhema word inspired to our hearts and our minds by the Holy Spirit. And then we have the last part of that, which is the mysteries of God being revealed, the revelation of God. And I'm talking about the revealed word. It's an eternal thing. It's, you know, it, I went over it here to Hebrews 4, 12, for the word of God is alive and active. Yes. It just keeps working. Powerful. It's alive. It's always changing. It's coming and it's, it's meeting every need, bringing every answer, consuming every thought. Hallelujah. And it says in Jeremiah 50, 61 of my life for the word came to me, I ate it, it was my joy and my delight. Praise God. How long should it take us to read the Bible completely to fully comprehend it? Dr. Shannon? Thank you so much, Apostle. You know, the question says, how long should it take to read the Bible completely? From a pragmatic perspective, the right. Old Testament, it takes about... 50 to 60 hours to get through the Old Testament, just reading it. The New Testament, it takes about 20 to 30 hours. If you combine the two together, it takes you about 90 hours just to read the Bible completely. Now, right. if you go back <clears throat> to reread it, and if you go back to study it and to break it apart, get the Hebrew, get the Greek, get the lexicon, it's going to take you <laughs> even longer than that just to get through it. But to comprehend it, Paul is very good at telling us that uh, or Isaiah says, who can comprehend our God? Who my, can my, fully my, my. even get around him? The hip hoppers wrote a song about it, said, he's so wide, you can't get around him. He's so high, <laughs> you can't get over him. So to comprehend him, it's going to take you a lifetime and beyond. It's eternity, my brother. Thank I you so love much. that. I love that. Thank you so much, Dr. Shannon. Listen, I think hip hop is celebrating 50 years, but who can trace our beginning of our father? Amen. Who can who can search his understanding? His ways are above our ways. His thoughts are above our thoughts. I like how you put that spin on it. All right. Dr. Lavender, Pastor Lavender, share with us your take on things today. Well, no, I think that's a, I think that's a great question. I think after you guys have answered, I realized a few things. I got to read my Bible more and I got to get my playlist <laughs> together. Right. Um, but I really, really thought about this question and I have two children. I have two children and when they come home, they have to read before they're able to do anything. And so because my household is very competitive, um, a lot of times when they're done with their reading time, I will have one child who will say, I completed the whole book. Okay. And then my other child will say, well, I only got through a couple of pages. Okay. And so I'll talk to my son who said he read the whole book and 
he doesn't remember what he read right? because he was focused. Here it is on how long it should take versus my daughter who would be able to tell me what she read Mm -hmm. when she read it. So I think that we have to be careful with questions like this because we're trying to put a time stamp on something when really we should be looking at comprehension. Mm-hmm. The word says um, in Proverbs that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get, get understanding. Understand. So I think that it is imperative that when we read the word, it is not about the time. Uh, what people don't know is before we start this show, uh, we get the chance to pull on each other. And right before we got the chance to log on, uh, Apostle Webster, he started talking about a scripture. Pastor Mark, he started talking about the yes, same scripture. Yes. Pastor Shannon started talking about the same scripture. And even though we read it, we were able to give each other something that we had never saw or said before. That's right. Which means that there is never a time where we will ever be able to fully comprehend the word of God because the revelations are so rich and present to the day and age in which we are in. So just be careful when we're talking about how long I want you to focus on what the word is saying to you and how it is applicable to the life that you are living. I love that. Thank you so much. We have to to talk about the comprehension of that thing, uh, because every time I study the word of God, God puts a different spin on it. The Holy Spirit uh, may use us in one way and then an, another time we'll read it. It'll be a whole nother way. So can we fully comprehend it? It's, it's going to be something that we have to ask God when we get to heaven. We see through a glass darkly. Amen. We'll be able to know in part. And